coffee. Coffee now! Now the House also is making another cut to food stamps. It voted last night to strike $4 billion per year from this program. The Senate passed his own version of the bill with lesser cuts. CBS Atlanta's Sonia Mogi joins us now with a look at how that could affect us here at home. Yeah, well, you know, about one in seven Americans use the SNAP program or food stamps. Two million of them are right here in Georgia. And I talked to people who rely on those benefits who say those cuts could devastate them. About once a month, Julia Cantrell makes the two hour long journey to get to Antioch Baptist Church's food pantry. All so that the 66 year old can then carry bags full of food back home on the bus. She's only able to survive with help from food stamps and disability, but even those funds aren't enough. At my age, who's going to hire me? They say, you at the age of retirement, and they say, you're too slow. She's part of the 25% of Georgians who use food stamps that are elderly or disabled and only gets $50 a month in food stamps. The church's free food pantry helps out, too. Instant potatoes. And, uh, Some of the food Cantrell got today comes from the Atlanta Community Food Bank, where Richard LeBur works. It's a nonprofit organization that uses private donations to help keep food banks stocked. LeBur believes those who voted for the bill expect charities like his to fill the gap after cuts. But empty shelves at the bank show that demand is already high, and those cuts eliminate more money for food than all of the food banks in the nation put out in a year. That would mean we'd have to double the size of the amount of food that we uh, distribute to people who are hungry to make up for the gap. Representatives who support the cuts say they are necessary. Congressman Paul Brown, a Republican from Athens, voted for the bill, saying it cuts nearly $40 billion from current spending levels, eliminates waste, fraud, and abuse, and ensures that those who need help the most do not go hungry. And those who use SNAP benefits already have cuts coming to them in November, where they'll see about $36 less a month. Katie and Stephanie. All right, Sonia, Congressional thank you. leaders will soon consider cutting $40 billion of food assistance programs over the next 10 years. KXY4's Casey Lund covered a group of community organizers today as they shared their message with Washington that deep cuts to programs like SNAP are unacceptable. Food banks like Second Harvest are struggling to keep up with the need that already exists in our community. And if proposed federal cuts to food assistance programs go through, they'll have to pick up that slack. And that's something they say just isn't possible. An advocacy group separate from Second Harvest held a small rally today. A group of concerned citizens, city leaders, speaking out against cuts to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, more commonly known as food stamps. Without it, they could virtually lose their lives. They, they, could, they would die. They would die without the food stamps. When she was 26, Karen Yelch served in the Air Force as a nurse practitioner at Fairchild. She raised two kids, put them through college, but fell on hard times and at one point needed food stamps. She was one of the fortunate ones, though. She got back on her feet thanks to the SNAP program. Now she has a message for Rep. Kathy McMorris Rogers and other leaders in Washington. Get a clue and shame on her. She is our representative. I have been paying her salary for as long as she has been in Congress. And she's just trying to pull the rug out from under this kind of support. The proposed cuts would come in addition to reductions in SNAP funding already going into effect this November. This group is urging communities to write their members of Congress, asking them to stop the House nutrition-only farm bill. With it, $40 billion in cuts to SNAP funding over 10 years. In Spokane, Casey Hi, Lund, KXLY 4 News. Thanks so much for joining us for KSLA News 12 Weekend at 10. The shopping frenzy happened at the Walmarts in Mansfield and in Spring Hill. KSLA News 12's Victoria Shirley explains what happened and shows you the chaos that was all caught on tape. Walmart shoppers in two Arklatex towns looking to do some grocery shopping on Sunday found bare shelves and empty food bins. It's about everything is gone. I've never seen uh, in, in, in that condition. Shopper Anthony Fuller says the big box store in Mansfield looked like someone raided it. He's not far off. Ivy buggies are gone. Hundreds packed both the Mansfield and Spring Hill Walmart Saturday night. Once word spread, they were accepting electronic benefit transfers or EBT cards with no limits. Police were called in to control the crowds. Spring Hill Police Chief Will Lind 
says people piled their cars full of food for two hours. But when balances started showing up on cards again, people rushed out, abandoning their carts and leaving behind a huge mess. One man captured the aftermath with cell phone video. Man, this is not real, bro. Oh, when we walked through the door, it was like a tornado had came through. O.J. Evans and a friend were there to buy a t-shirt, but when they saw dozens of full and abandoned carts, he only thought one thing. I was just thinking Facebook and Instagram. The shell's empty. While he can be heard laughing in the video, <laughs> Evans says he felt bad for the employees that would have to restock the food. I was just thinking, oh my God, I'm so glad my mom doesn't work here anymore. Evans believes it was natural human reaction that led people to fill up their carts during the glitch. But couple Stan and Judy Garcia feel very differently. That's plain theft. That's stealing. That's all I got to say about it. We asked Walmart spokesperson Kayla Whaling if the company would be taking the loss on any food purchased on the cards not showing balances. Whaling would only say that they monitor transactions during the outage. Victoria Shirley, KSLA News 12. Now that Walmart spokesperson tells us they know their customers were counting on them during the outages and made the decision to continue accepting the EBT cards so that they could get food for their families. A spokesperson for the Louisiana Department of Children and Family Services tells KSLA News 12 they take all allegations of potential fraud seriously. They are aware of the problems and they will be Thousands investigating. Thousands of Coloradans relying on food stamp programs will likely see a reduction in the assistance they receive later this year. The Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program will see a $5 billion cut nationwide in November. News Channel 5 reporter Taylor Canoes spoke with officials to see how these cuts will affect local residents and joins us now live from the Mesa County Community Services Building with the latest. Jeremy and Christina, over half a million Colorado residents will likely receive less, fun, less food assistance later this year when an estimated $55 million is cut from the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program statewide. Now, back in 2009, Congress passed the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, which temporarily increased the funding for the food assistance program, formerly known as food stamps. U.S. legislators scheduled the end of that increase for November 1, 2013, in hopes that the economy would rebound by that time. However, in Mesa County, that's not quite the case. Mesa County hasn't recovered quite as quickly as some of the other areas, but there's not a lot we can do about it. Mesa County can't do anything. Colorado can't do anything. It's across the board federally that they are reducing this amount. When the funding increase was issued in 2009, 4,357 Mesa County residents relied on assistance. Since then, that number has nearly doubled to just over 8,000 Mesa County residents. On average, Mesa County families receive just under $300 a month in food stamp funding. Now, while Mesa County Human Services say they won't turn anyone away that is in need of assistance, they do say that families that are relying on these uh, food stamps could see a decrease in that funding anywhere from $8 to $20 a month after these reductions take place. Reporting live from the Mesa County Community Services Center, Taylor Canoes, News Channel 5. My last question to you. Um, you often do these seminars with the state of black America. I've, I've watched them on C-SPAN and, and different mm -hmm. channels, right? Um, right. Are black Americans better off five years into the Obama presidency? Let me answer your question very forthrightly. No, they are not. The data is going to indicate, sadly, that when the Obama administration is over, black people will have lost ground in every single leading economic indicator category. On that regard, the president ought to be held responsible. But here's the other side. I respect the president. I will protect the president, and I will correct the president. He's right on this government shutdown. Republicans are thwarting the rule of law with the Constitution. If they let this debt go into default, they're trampling again on the Constitution. The sad thing They've is, got to be responsible and accountable as well. This is a debate for another day, uh, and we go back a long way. We've been friends a long time. We do. But I don't want that for the black community. I don't want that for any community in this country. And if the president's policies either, after that, five years have failed, by your own admission, we could do better. We can do better, but Republicans have to act sensible and, 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 uh, and responsible in this That's regard, right. and they're not doing that and, at the moment. And the president John. needs to talk to them like he talks to the mullahs of Iran. He needs to open his mouth. He needs to have a conversation. President. He needs to negotiate. And, All right, just like we're talking right now. We're talking. We're friends. All right. We disagree, though. We Good are. to see you.
All right, yeah, Travis. we do. <laughs> Good to see you. Coffee.